Today on the channel, we unbox the Hellfire Club Hasbro Pulse exclusive, as well as a couple Hasbro exclusive Hellfire Club guards. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back again on the channel, and today we got something special. Hasbro Pulse. You guys remember Hasbro Con, maybe three, four weeks ago, whatever it was. Hasbro Pulse Con, Hellfire Club exclusive. Uh, as you guys know, they've been following the channel. I paid the $50 premium membership to get free shipping all year long, plus other perks, whatever those turn out to be. But part of that reason is I did not want to get denied on this set. I've been excited for this set. We've been hoping for this set for a long time. That is why I pulled the trigger, along with the, you know, the Snake Guys, the Cobra Commander, um, the Hellfire Club Guards, a few other things I wanted to get, all at free shipping, the Power Rangers, um, all that fun stuff. It ended up being worth it to me, and I was extremely excited. This was my most wanted, this and the Cobra Commander, to be honest, were my most wanted figures there. Uh, $60 price point, a hefty price point, but not really terrible for four figures at all in this beautiful packaging. Uh, but I will tell a little story. So I get, Hasbro is so weird how they ship stuff. Some of you guys have gotten from them before. They ship everything single in a single box. Uh, you know, you can order five things. They all come separately. I don't know how that's cost effective. I guess stuff comes from different places. That's probably why it does that. But anyways, I had all my orders. I ordered a ton of stuff from there. Um, but this one did not show up. So I'm like, why is everything came? It's been like three days since my last package came. I said, everything else has came. What is going on? went into my orders, and it showed this was delivered. I, my heart sank. I said, I never got the Hellfire Club. It was never delivered. I looked outside in the yard. I looked around, uh, and nothing. I didn't see it anywhere. So I contacted Hasbro. Uh, this is probably a week and a half ago now at this point, maybe. Um, contacted Hasbro. said, hey, what's going on? Can you double check on all this? Uh, still to this day, Hasbro has never responded to my email. Their uh, phone lines aren't working because they have so many calls. I mean, they have tons of orders, but terrible customer service by Hasbro on this one. They never even responded to my email. Um, but three days after I sent that email, I'm just kind of in uh, email purgatory trying to figure out what's happening. Currently, I'm looking at eBay and Mercari. These are going from $160 to $170. I paid $60 for it. I really did not want to pay that. I saw some other people that said, hey, we misshipped it. Uh, you're not going to get your Hellfire Club. All we can do is re refund you because they're sold out. There's no more to be had. So I was dreading that. I said, well, I'll get my 60 bucks back. Then I'll have to spend another 100 to get one off of eBay. Well, then Columbus Day. I'm sitting out in the yard. The FedEx driver pulls up. And I said, could this be? No, it couldn't be. And he comes and he just hands me this and nonchalantly walks off. Didn't even stay for the hug and the kiss I was going to give him because I was so excited that this was actually not lost in the mail, that I actually got it. Um, so now I have the Hellfire Club. And then what do you know, a few days later, I got all my Hellfire Club goons, guards. I ordered six of them. I'm very happy. I, I felt like six was the right number. Um, I know there's a lot of people that slept on this that missed out. Uh, they're going to be back up on the Hasbro uh, site soon, if not already. Uh, and we'll look at those later. But let's look at this Hellfire Club box set first. Uh, my first recollection of the Hellfire Club was in the X-Men animated series. Uh, they were known as the Inner Circle in there. I don't think they wanted to be called the Hellfire Club in a kid's cartoon, I guess. Um, but that was my first introduction, and probably a lot of you guys of similar age, that was probably your first introduction as well. But look at this beautiful packaging here. Just absolutely cool. They went all out on the packaging. And to be honest, Hasbro went all out on the packaging on most of these Hasbro Pulse exclusives. The Power Ranger one, as difficult as it was to unbox, that was a pretty beautiful package. The Cobra Commander is one of the greatest packagings of a figure I've ever seen. And then there's this one. I don't even know how to go about opening this one because there's going to be no see you later with this box. Uh, I need to save this box. The background's awesome. This box will be saved. I'll store this away. I don't save a ton of boxes. Imagine if I saved all my boxes. I'd have, you know, my house would be full. I'd be swimming in boxes like a young Scrooge McDuck swimming in his money. But uh, I will be saving this box, that is for sure. There is the side. Got the Marvel Legends logo up top. The Hellfire logo there. Same thing on the other side. Look at the top of that box. How cool is that? Cursive, nice, fancy. Uh, nothing on the bottom. Totally black. Uh, and then you got nice like portrait silhouettes of the four characters that are in here. Very, very, very cool if you ask me. Um, so let's, let's figure out how do I even go about opening this. I don't want to ruin anything. Um, okay, we're taped at the bottom. So get the old razor blade out. 
It hurts me to open this. You guys know, deep down, I want to be a mint on card guy, but you know, you, when you buy as many figures as I do, that's just not possible to have that many figures on card. I just don't know what you would do. I wouldn't get any enjoyment out of my collection if they were all on cards. I couldn't see them. If I can't display it and I can't see it, I don't need it. That's my rule. Um, okay, so we're going to get this little fancy thing off. There it is, like so. Very cool. At the bottom there, Hellfire Club. Four figures, 15 accessories, it says on the back. Uh, I got a little ding on the corner of one of my corners. It's a little unfortunate, but what do you do? Uh, I love the gates and the look there. Let's open it up. Let's see. So we got Velcro in here. That is awesome. I, just top-notch packaging by the Hasbro team. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Nice little pictures there. You got like the little portraits on the side of each one of them. Then you got the big family portrait in the middle. Very cool. This is going to be a centerpiece of my display. I'm not sure if I'll actually use this box as part of my display. Uh, some of you guys know I got big things cooking in my display uh, room. Um, hopefully I'll have that unveiled first of the year for you guys. But a lot of time, a lot of money being spent on my uh, collection these days. Uh, let's pull this off here. So what is this? This is taped in. Now, being extra gentle here, I don't want to destroy this box. That's, I definitely do not want to do that. So I'm going to cut this out. This is a nice, wow, this is this is pretty cool. So this is nice. You know, it's like uh, almost, doesn't feel like real wood, but it's raised. It's not just, you know, plain paper. There's, this is heavy, thick cardboard. And look at this on the back. You got a little note there. Also, X133, I don't know, I don't think it's limited edition set, but look at this. How cool is this? It opens up like a letter. Actually, it pulls on out. So this is just attention to detail like none other is what this is. So then you get an envelope, just a plain old envelope. Get the red there. Look at that. Opens up. I mean, this is old school. Old school. People used to put the wax on the, on the letter. All right, let me get this out. I don't think I'm going to read all this. Gosh, it's been so long since I've read in cursive. I feel like this is a note my Grammy used to write to me. Like, Kyle, how you doing? And what's going on with you? What new figures you picked up? Remember those days hitting up the old Pomida store and getting uh, Cobra figures? Uh, let's see. Manhattan, New York. Dear friend, you are cordially invited to the ranks of a society with a most exclusive membership. Entry into this organization has always been a matter of Nobility, but a select few have ascended on the shoulders of sheer prestige and influence. It is to the latter group that you belong. Well, I think they've personalized this. There's no other way around it. In brief, your reputation precedes you. Yeah, well, who knew? I got a reputation going. Inquiries have been made. A plan has been set in motion. The express benefits of membership is, are many, although their cost is high. If you can service the... Vipers? Oh, yeah. We got Vipers. If you can survive the Vipers pit of revolving alliances and hidden agendas, a gilded future awaits. It is very seldom that the inner circle removes the shroud of secrecy and steps forward in pursuit of a new initiative. You would do well to heed this call. The inner circle awaits your response for now. Um, so I will respond to this letter later today. I'm going to have to dust off my uh, quill and ink pen. Also going to have to remember how to write in cursive outside of my name. It's been a long time. Uh, when was the last time you guys wrote a note in cursive? Um, it's been forever, but a really cool extra touch. I mean, just the little things like this go a long way in packaging. I definitely got to save this. I'm sure there's some people that totally missed that uh, unboxing these. But let's take a little look-see here. Look at that in, in box, in the plastic prison. It doesn't get cooler than that. Four great figures. Look at that diorama in the background. Just absolutely breathtakingly awesome. A lot of accessories with this pack. Uh, I mean, it doesn't get cooler than this. It really doesn't. Let's see. Once again, I gotta be gentle. I gotta figure this out on camera. All right, there it is. So we got the box out. So that's just the uh, inner cardboard box. I was hoping the background stayed in there. Uh, it looks like it's attached to the bubble, which is no good. I do not like that. Um, oh, never mind. It's taped in here. I think I can get around it. 
This is like uh, the ultimate show and tell. You got that? You gotta be gentle here. We're not our usual bull in a china shop shop, so very cool. We can just save this. Definitely recommend keeping this diorama. There's got to be a use for it somewhere in your collection. How cool is that? Nice cardboard stock. Absolutely love it. Just an awesome slam dunk here so far. Oop, a little piece of plastic. Gotta save that. See you later. Look at all those accessories right over here. Holy cow. Accessory city. I don't know if we've ever seen anything quite like it. Uh-oh. Okay, hopefully that's not the case. I see I see a potential issue. We'll get to it here. Let me take a look here. Awesome. Just an awesome, awesome set. I see no paint issues from the front. Um, I see one in the back that could be... We'll see. We'll get, we'll get to it when we get to it. But let's pop all these out. Holy cow. Ah! Uh-oh. Lost them all. We got accessory city. We got hands everywhere. Got a little piece of plastic. Put that to the side. Got one more hand down here. Might as well get that last hand out, huh? So we got all kinds of accessories. They are not messing around with accessories with this one. Oh, good. All right, I saw a little issue on the back of this Magneto helmet, but there was nothing. It was the plastic. Uh, so it does come with Magneto's helmet. Another cool accessory. Uh, we see the book. This book is getting reused more than anything. We saw it with the Retro Beast. We're going to see it with that uh, Doctor Doom figure. Obviously the Hellfire Club. So a lot of books to come. We got the Celine head. We'll come back to the Celine head. I got a plan for this one. Um, we'll come back to that. We got a Wolverine cowl. Uh, so I guess you put it in one of the figures uh, and say, hey, he took Wolverine's mask or whatever, you know. Um, something like that. Okay, let's see. Can I get these guys out? One. There's two. Oh, there we go. Come on. Jeez. This guy is in here good. Let's see. There it is. All right. We got a little tape holding the whip in here. Come on. I gotta give them props so these aren't falling out of the package. It takes some work getting these guys out. Let's see. Can I get this cape? There's one. There's two. Got them all out here. Save that there for later. There it is. Some definite reuse here right off the bat, but it's okay. You've got to reuse these molds and stuff. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. That's how we save money in our figures, by them being able to reuse stuff. Uh, your typical Marvel Legends female body here, but great head. Ooh, we got a spiked collar even. I didn't notice that the first time I saw that. So that is exceptionally cool. I love that molded cape. Absolutely awesome. Very, very cool. I mean, uh, it doesn't get much cooler. This could be one of the best box sets of all time. Not just uh, Marvel Legends, but all time. We'll see. Do we fit on a ringside stand? We do. So we fit on... Kind of. It's a little loose, but it works. So we'll, we'll stick uh, we'll Gene over to the side there. we got Sebastian Shaw. we got Emma Frost. we got the whole gang here. Uh, we got some new mold for the feet, obviously reused in both of these two. Um, these are actually the same figures. They seem to be just different heads with uh, obviously different paint jobs. So there you go right there. And we also got metal hands. Uh, these wouldn't shock me if they're Dr. Doom reuse hands. I, I'm not going to, don't quote me on that. Uh, we also got guns in here. I didn't notice those at the first go around. Uh, but very solid figures. Uh, I expect we'll probably see maybe this, uh, mold used a few more times in, in the future soon. I would have to think. But, um, great detail. Like I said, zero paint app issues. Uh, you guys know some of my Mattel figures as of late, I've had a lot of paint problems. These are perfect paint applications. Just awfully tremendous. Just tremendous, tremendous. Very, very cool. See, I'm sure these guys, uh, I'm sure they'll fit on the stand, right? See if this new boot mold works. And there you have it. Fits right like a glove on the stand. So they both got to fit. Obviously, they got the same mold. Why would they both not? And there it is. Very cool. Hey, slam dunk set. Uh, if you guys really wanted this, I hope you got it. Because like I said, not easy to find right now. Um, 
we're getting a reload. If you guys pre-ordered, you'll get it in March. Uh, for those who didn't pre-order on day one, but after that, I think you're probably out of luck. Uh, this is the classic Emma Frost we've been wanting for a long time. Very cool to finally get her. Uh, I do have sitting here handy. There's the uh, Emma Frost Walgreens exclusive we just got about a year ago. I got a plan for this one. So uh, love this white queen. Looks just awesome. The hair. I believe this is the head. That Walgreens one came with an extra head. I believe this is the exact same head. Maybe don't quote me on that. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the same head. She does fit on the stand. There you go. The whole crew fits. Got the whip. Uh, this whip with the uh, tail on the end or uh, the spike on the end. I think we've never got this whip before. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong there, but I believe that is all new accessories. Uh, we got weapons. We got a ton of hands for everybody. Um, I was talking about the Emma Frost. Let's see if I can pop her head off here. Maybe. Yep. There it goes. Uh, I do like that head. Obviously, you could switch this head onto this one if you wanted to, make it a more modern day. Uh, but I think we all like the classic look on this one. At least I do. That's for me. But uh, I don't want to have a head go to uh, unused. So this Celine head, I'm going to pop this on this Emma Frost body. I felt like that worked very well. Um, I, I popped, a, I got another Emma Frost figure. I need to get another Emma Frost figure, I should say, uh, as I'd like to have both. But I think that is the way to do it. That, that gives you another figure. Gives you the five-figure lineup right like that. Um, why wouldn't you take advantage? Uh, if you got another character you can make for an easier custom, you got to do it. Uh, this White Queen or Emma Frost figure never felt, never stayed on a stand very well. Uh, and we continue to have that problem there. So she's a little heavy. I don't know. Not going to stand. Uh, it's going to be terrible trying to get these on the Glamour Shop pictures. Because they, the, you know, the female figures, they just do not stand with those high heels. I give up. She's, she's not going to stand for me. She doesn't want to cooperate in the video. But we can give her a little lean, maybe. There it is. We'll, we'll have her lean right there. But it's all falling apart here. It's all, they're all taking headers left and right. Um... But I can't say enough good things about this set. Obviously, it's got all your typical Marvel Legends articulation. You guys have seen it in a million videos. Not just mine, but a million others. So I'm not going to walk you through the articulation. But just the box. I mean, probably the best box set of the year. That Cobra Commander one is so awesome. A little easier to figure out. Not as quite as complicated to cut and open and stuff. But uh, A and B, I don't know. I mean, you tell me which one you like better. Uh, but it's pretty close. And I'm a diehard Joe guy. I'm a diehard Marvel guy. But Joe is my first love. Um, this is a solid, solid set. Uh, I don't know if we'll see rehashes of these down the road. I hope not. Um, I don't need another Hellfire Club, Inner Circle Club. I don't know what changes they could really give us to make it different. But uh, we'll see. We'll see down the road uh, how that shakes out for us. But there is that set with the added Emma Frost Celine. I think that's an easy customizer's tip. Uh, let's clear these guys out. and Let's open up one of these Hellfire Guards, see what the fuss is about with those. And then we'll wrap the video up. All right, next up, let's take a look at the Hellfire Club guards, goons, whatever you want to call them. These were also Hasbro Pulse exclusives um, that you could buy on the Hasbro Pulse website. I believe they're up for pre-order right now if you want to order some more. I got in right away. I had to make two orders because they had a limit. At first, I got four, and then I ordered two. They had a limit uh, put in place, uh, but I was very happy to get six. For some reason, six is what I felt I needed. Um, I'm not sure exactly why six, but I guess we'll see once I get them opened up. But a very cool concept by Hasbro. I absolutely love this idea. So, you know, a typical Marvel Legend figure is $20, $23, somewhere in that range, brand new. Uh, these are $14 in a small box, a slim box, uh, taking some of the packaging out of it. They did this with the AIM soldiers. You can buy these on Hasbro Pulse to kind of do some army building. I do expect some more army builders to come. I would love to see Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with a bunch of different heads maybe. You get a female and male agents and build a S.H.I.E.L.D. army. Multiple man would be really cool um, for uh, you know those who want to build a bunch of multiple mans. Uh, we could also get maybe the Doom Bot, Doctor Doom. Uh, there's a lot of guys that you could build, do some uh, building of the army builders. I think it's a cool concept. I would love to see them take that over into the GI Joe line uh, or even Star Wars. You can get Stormtroopers stuff like that, especially GI Joe. We all know the pain with the Cobra Troopers. Imagine if you just go to Hasbro Pulse and buy you know fourteen dollar army builders. I think, especially in a G.I. Joe, when you got so many different Vipers and Cobra Officers and stuff like that, even a G.I. Joe Grunt, uh, let's put those in there. I think that would be awesome. But let's take a look at these. Very excited. Um, here's the box here. You know, it's bare bones, but not. But these are Army Builders. 
Uh, very cool on the side. You get some graphics there. A graphic on the other side. Marvel logo on top. Legally is on the bottom. I did not buy those AIM soldiers as I actually army built the old school way. I built them at the store back in the day with the AIM soldiers. Never got a bunch of shields. You could have bought a bunch of Nick Furies and then changed the heads and made shield agents. I did not do that at the time. Um, so what do we got? So we got just a plain box. See you later. Uh, it looks like they come just in a plastic cellophane baggie. Uh, and that's fine. Anything to keep the cost down so we can buy more figures. That's what I always say for stuff like this especially. Uh, can I get him open here? All right, let's see. So he's all all mixed up in the package, his head down. He's just kind of a mess. Uh, you know, it's a body we've seen a million times over in the past. Um, not really a ton of, you know, crazy articulation or... Well, I shouldn't say that. It's got your typical Marvel articulation, but your decorations and stuff, it's just a, I hate to say a plain figure, but in ways it is plain. See you later, plastic. Uh, it comes with two weapons. You need to be a little little molded back into place, but just silver weapons, just like so. Uh, and then you got a pistol, of course, like so. Um, so plain Jane, but that's what an army builder is. For the most part, it's a plain Jane figure. Um, I'm not going to open up every single one of these. It's going to be the same thing inside. I have heard some people say that there is some pain issues with some of these Hellfire uh, figures. Uh, the Hellfire guards, I guess you should say. I could understand that a little bit because I think these are high produced, cheaply produced. They're producing these as cheap as possible. You know, $14 price point, it seems like these should be $9.99 in the box. Uh, I don't want to complain about pricing too much, but it just seems like five dollar difference from what you get the other ones without the packaging and then mass produced and the easier to make figures you would think uh, i could be wrong on that i mean but hey if people are willing to pay it and it's showing that people are willing to pay this uh you know i don't fault hasbro get as much money as you can it's the way the world works uh, but there it is your typical uh goon but you need these for your hellfire club like i said i'm gonna have a shelf in my display it's gonna be the hellfire club kind of like library i'm gonna have all these guys in here obviously the whole team in there and, uh, you know, I'll have some X-Men guys in there busting in and uh, ready to throw down for a big fight. And it looks like we do fit on uh, the ringside stands with the Hellfire card. So there you go. Always a pleasant surprise when we fit on a stand. Um, I don't know if I can really rank these in order of how I like them either. Um, I, I like them all the same kind. I guess I do like the Emma Frost maybe the best just because uh, this has been a really wanted figure for a lot of us collectors over the years. Uh, to get a traditional uh, White Queen figure. So I, I think I'll put her at the top of my list. Um, but I don't know. It's it, it's a package deal. You can't really have one without the other, if you ask me. Uh, I love the new molds on these two. Uh, I love the reuse. It, it fe you can tell it's reuse when you look close, but it doesn't feel that way, if that makes any sense. Obviously, we love the, uh, the trooper, the army builder. Uh, I love that aspect. I'll get every army builder I can. Uh, so I think that's cool. It really rounds out the club and everything else. Get Jean Grey, and then I think uh, this is a must-have. You make the Emma Frost Celine, you put those together. Um, now i got to find another Emma Frost. Hopefully I can find a minty, loose one somewhere. Or maybe I, I do know a couple of Walgreens off the beaten path that still have her, so I guess I could uh, spend 20 bucks and pick her up. Um, but we'll see. But a very solid set. Uh, A-plus packaging. You won't find better packaging out there. And even this, I like this packaging too. It's simple and easy for Army Builders. Uh, so you guys let me know. Hopefully you like the video. So like the video. But then in the comments, let me know if you pick this up. You're playing the long game. You wait until March when you get your pre-order. Um, are you going to pick this up in the aftermarket? Uh, your thoughts, if it was an easy pass for you or whatever. But a lot of commentary we could put in here. And then most importantly at the end, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're doing Marvel. We're doing Star Wars. We're doing wrestling. We're doing all kinds of unboxing videos and deep dives, figure hunts, you name it. Uh, but this is a, a, probably one of the slam dunk figures of the year. Uh, definitely the Marvel Legends box set of the year. That is for sure. So there you got it. For the Hellfire Club, for the Hellfire Army, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.